Hello, it's 4 News O'Clock on All News Nigeria. I am Okoyemi Olubemi. Here are the headlines for today. Many dead in Jehovah Witness Hall shooting in Germany. Video of South African President checking out Minister Trends. Now the news in detail. A gunman believed to have been acting alone killed several people on Thursday evening in a Jehovah Witness church in the German city of Hamburg, as police said, they focused the investigation on the motive for the attack. Authorities have yet to give an official toll, but at least six people are dead and seven people injured. The incident in the northern German city occurred around 9 p.m. local time, with police initially unsure how many shooters might be involved. Footage from the scene showed numerous armed police officers inside and around the Kingdom Hall while a helicopter flew overhead. A bomb disposal team was deployed at one point. The streets around the place of worship have been condoned off and police earlier warned of extreme danger in the area. Nearby residents have been urged to stay indoors. But later updates from the city's police force suggested that there was just one attacker who may have died at the scene. Shootings in Germany are not unheard of, though rarer than in the United States. In January 2022, at least one person was killed after a man opened fire on students in a lecture hall at Edinburgh University in southwestern Germany. In 2020, a mass shooting at two shisha bars in Hanau killed several people. In other news, a viral video of South African President Cyril Ramaphosa checking out new transport minister Sidisiwe Chikunga's behind has left people hysterical. On the night of 6 March 2023, President Ramaphosa announced a cabinet reshuffle bringing in new members into the executive and juggling old ministers. Controversial Minister of Sport, Arts and Culture Nati Temawa, who planned to build a 22 million rabbit flag monument, was booted out. Vocal African National Congress ENC Secretary General Fikile Balula was also elbowed out and replaced with his deputy, Sindisiwe Chikunga. On Tuesday, 7th March, the new cabinet ministers and deputies were sworn in in Cape Town. Going on with the program, the Chief Justice called the new Minister of Transport, Sindisiwe Chinkunga, who strode majestically to the front. The 64-year-old politician was clad in an olive green loose dress, which did nothing to conceal a heavy lower build. President Cyril Ramaphosa was sitting with Vice President Paul Machatile at the front when Sindisiwe Chinkunga strutted forward for a swearing-in a back and behind were right next to Ramaphosa, who could not help but steal a glance at the new minister's white eaves and rounded behind. And that's it on the news. To keep up with All News Nigeria, kindly follow us on all social media platforms displayed on the screen. We'll be back with more news updates next week. Until then, stay tuned. I am Okwe Mio